Welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to delve deeper into error handling in Angular 17. This time, we will not only explore various error handling strategies, but also demonstrate them with the practical examples. So let's dive in. Error handling is a critical part of web development. Effective handling can be difference between a robust application and a fragile one. Today, we will see these methods in action with examples that intentionally produce errors to demonstrate how our strategies work. Let's create a scenario where an error is likely to occur and then catch it using try catch block. Imagine a component method that processes user data and we will intentionally pass invalid data to trigger an error so here i will add a function process data and i will add a try cache block here in the try block i will write my logic if data is is valid and i used not operator that's mean if data is invalid then throw this error okay let's receive that data now i will create a button that will call this that function here so I passed a data in the form of an object with the property is valid false. Now let's try it. This is my button. I'm going to open my inspect element and let's see if it is able to handle that error. Uh, I can see a very simple message without any red alerts. It is because of the try catch. But in case if I don't have the try catch or if my code is outside of this try catch block, then you will see that there is error there are errors in this way in the console here if the data is not valid an error is thrown which is then caught and handled gracefully now let's implement a custom global error handler and see how it captures unhandled exception first we will define our global error handler so for that we have to create a file here in the source now i will export a class and i will also make it injectable export class global error handler implements error handler and make sure to import this error handler from angular core and now we need to implement this function handle error and we are just simply going to console the error that we got if you are using older version than angular 17 then you can simply uh, provide this class in the uh, app.module but in my case i don't have app module so i will just go to the app.config and here we have the providers array so in that file i will simply add an object and here uh, here i will specify provide error handler and then use class global error handler make sure to import both of these classes global error handler and error handler let's try it i have removed try catch block already as you know so i will just uh, click on this button this will throw an error and this error should be displayed with the help of this so let's try it okay you can see that uh, the error has been handled and is being displayed with the help of this so you can make changes as well like instead of instead of using log you can use error and this time you will see in the form of error so in this way we handled error globally asynchronous operations especially with observables require special attention let's simulate a failed http request using rxjs catch error operator so for that let's remove this and here i will add this dot http dot get by the way as we are going to use http so make sure to uh, inject the http client service to use it with the help of your constructor http get and here you can pass any incorrect or random url that does not exist uh, so that we could generate an error with the help of http now we will use the pipe function and subscribe to it in the pipe function we will pass the operator catch error make sure to import it from the rxjs and in that catch error function i will pass a callback function and i will receive a parameter with that callback function that would be the error and we have to return a default value in this so i have returned an observable of an empty array now i will simply console it caught in catch error and provide it my error message now in the subscribe you can get your data if there there is no error all right now click on the process data and here you can see we have an error and it is saying caught in catch error uh, uh, you can simply display the message as well okay now it is saying that caught in catch error http failure 
response for this 404 not found here if the http request fails catch error intercepts the error and logs it and returns a default value next http interceptor allows us to handle all http responses in a single place let's set up in an interceptor that logs http errors so for that i need to create an interceptor for that type the command ng generate interceptor and give it a name error interceptor press enter okay the interceptor has been generated now in that interceptor here in the parameter where we have next i will add a type http handler function then i will call the pipe function on the next function and we will pass the operator from rxjs with the name catch error now we need to go to the app.config file and in the providers array let's add a function provide http client and within that function i will call a function with interceptors and then i will give in an array and then i will provide the interceptors that i want to provide i want to use error interceptor that we just created so just now save it and now call that right now we are actually handling error locally that's why uh, the global error handling uh, the interceptor is not being used yet properly so if we want to use it then we have to remove it first okay now let's give it a try click on that actually i have imported the http client module in my app component so i will just remove it and it will start working immediately okay you can see that now we are seeing the error from the error interceptor without any problem so now i will just replace it with the correct url and this time the error obviously will not be shown so so this is a correct api url that i am going to use now and this time there will not be any error okay you can see we have the data that is coming from the remote api but this time there is no error but if you make any change here make it incorrect so this is how interceptor catches the error globally logging it before it reaches to the components error handling in this tutorial we have seen how to implement and demonstrate various error handling strategies in angular 17 from local try catch blocks to global error handling with a custom error handler and http interceptor these methods ensure our application gracefully manages errors improving reliability and user experience remember effective error handling is about anticipation and preparation i hope that this video was useful for you please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos please like and share this video and if you have any questions feedback or suggestions then please leave them in the comment section see you next time happy coding